Good morning, afternoon. Good afternoon, Gemini. Uh, welcome to Wildflower Garden Tarot. I have a reading. Uh, looks like it's going to be quite the ride here. Um, happy, huh, happy Mercury retrograde. A lot of people use Mercury retrograde as an excuse for bad behavior or like, oh, I made this shitty decision because it's Mercury retrograde. No. Mercury retrograde is, I mean, no matter what house it's in, it is really a time for self-awareness <clears throat> um, where the past is going to come back. Usually it's out of your subconscious, at, especially for me. Um, but... It, it is, I mean, that can be unpleasant and weird, but it's for our good because we can't, we can heal from the things that we can see and feel, but we can't heal from the things that we've repressed. So Mercury retrograde does play that role and it might not feel good and it might be kind of shitty, but it's, it's for our own good. So I've pulled actually like five runes came for you. Um... And we have a fairly complex uh, rune reading here. So your first rune is Ingva's. Um, Ingva's is, you have a lot of feminine energy here, but Ingva's is like an earth goddess. So new growth. To me, this is like garden spirit, right? Planting seeds. And watching them grow. Um, it's like spring. It's like the moment you've been waiting for, right? Like you've planted seeds and you know, you go out and you check and you check, and it doesn't look like anything's coming, and then all of a sudden there's stuff coming. It's like, oh, what a relief. You know, this can be a time for new relationships or a change in your relationship. The spirit is just yeah, it said a change in relationship with which may be scary, but in reality, it's an answer to your prayer. But you know, sometimes when we pray for things or we manifest things, they happen, but not in the way we were expecting, but always in the way that they should. The next one is Uras, which is been showing up quite a bit actually, um, which is strength, determination. It's like um, a warrior spirit you know again well not again it's interesting because like my preamble about mercury retrograde and the bringing stuff up from the subconscious this is a rune that can deal with hard like with really harnessing that in many ways i mean tutor test is like a giant's right and giants can just like wreak havoc. In many ways, so can your unconscious. Your unconscious can be like the giant in your life. That things are going on, especially as you become more aware and you're understanding a healing journey, that you respond to things unconsciously. Like, you know, your first response is maybe not a normal response. It may be coming from uh a trauma response it may be coming from being raised a certain way and that i mean we don't know any other way <laughs> so this is dealing with this giant with the giants and um it is a rune of free will but you need to use that free will appropriately, right? Like we're coming into a new phase of life. You know what you, you've planted a garden, right? And now things are finally starting to grow. You don't want to just go stomping all over it. Say, well, it should survive. Well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Mm. But here's the tricky thing. <laughs> Is that you got an Isa. Isa. 
Asa. Interestingly enough, I just watched this really sad video called Hold On, and it's from the movie Breakthrough. Um, if you watch it, watch, make sure you watch it to the very last second because it's a little traumatic. But ice can be fun and beautiful and lovely, but ice can kill you. Oh, Spirit just said to me, you're skating on thin, you're treading on thin water. You're treading on thin ice. Isa. Which is contrary in a lot of ways to Ingvas. We have breakthrough. This big breakthrough. And then we have Isa. But this happens in life. Sometimes we have a breakthrough. And we t take on this new relationship or we um, have a breakthrough about a relationship or a job or something that isn't working. And that's great. But within it, there's an ice time. There's a time where you are unsure, where maybe you'd like to go back. You don't know if you should, you know, if the ice is cracking around your feet and you're in the middle of the river where do you go? So you stand there with your arms out, holding your breath, waiting. So just because things are brand new um, and you've had a breakthrough and, and there's things that's new, doesn't mean you're not going to have moments where you're thinking, oh my, like, I'm out of my depth and I'm a little scared. And I need to take some time to myself. I need to pause, especially during Mercury retrograde. But don't worry, because Birkenau is here to carry you through. Birkenau is, again, both ends of this are very powerful, regenerative, feminine energies so we're you know accept that even though things are looking good and you're off to a good start there might be a setback there might be a time where you're just like fuck i don't know where to go i don't know what to do hold your breath everything's fine just let spirit just said perfect timing let perfect timing have its place in this and then you'll see again right this um just gonna look this up. Like, there's a white, nice explanation here in my notes. There they are. Um. Yeah. Okay. It's interesting because I, I, it's releasing trauma. Finally. Right. So we had to have this brought back up to us, maybe through Mercury retro retrograde, to take you the rest of the way through your breakthrough, right. This in Birkenau now, now, it's like okay, you know what? I can I can trust what's going on because your trauma response is you know what things are good, but I'm gonna fuck it up somehow. And then it's like no, I can't think that I'm gonna manifest my own fuck up. And then you know it's just like and then you don't know where to go. So it's maturing. You're developing. You're letting your tower fall. You're planting those seeds. You're watching them grow. It seems stalled, but just wait. You're going to have a nice rain, and the sun will shine, and things, um, things will come at you again, but better than you expected, and not maybe in maybe not in the way you expected. <sighs> in this deck, this is very much a harvest regularly usually the six of wands is a sword or is a is this a tarot card of public recognition this one is a fruitful harvest in this deck i love this deck this is the golden tarot of the renaissance deck and it is stunning and it shuffles so beautifully and it fits, I have kind of small hands, and so it um, fits me per perfectly. Okay, what is going on 
Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. For, what is going on for Gemini? Your harvest is about to come in. You're still looking a little worried though, right? It's like, can I trust this harvest? Something feels off. What feels off is your trauma response. I love these cards, man. The imagery. I mean, even in the runes, it, it, you can see your cycles. Some cycles here. Implied or explicit. Like, isn't that beautiful? You're, so you're in transition. There's a tower at the bottom, but I'm going to just see if that comes out naturally. Okay. Can you clarify for us, Spirit, where we're going? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cut nine two. Okay, what's going on for Gemini? What's been going on? Boy, you got some beauties here. You have a nine of cups, a ten of wands. You're coming to this end of a cycle and an eight of swords. So, you know, really going against the grain. I'm just going to refer to my little book here because these have such vastly different meanings. So, yeah, this one here is learning, nine of cups. Whereas, you know, like that is often uh wealth you know being pretty successful this is you're in a time of learning right you you you've undergone some loss this is isa bewilderment i don't know which way to turn what's under the ice Because I, I've planted seeds. I want to see them grow. Is what this is. Which is an interesting image. Because it looks like she's trying to plant seeds. And he's trying to cut her head off. She's aware he's there. Okay, Spirit has just said to me that this is actually, this is your subconscious. <laughs> and you're like going ahead, minding your, minding your mind. And it's like, what's going on back there? What is it that's going on in my subconscious that I need to deal with that's holding me back? Or that's leading me to fuck up whatever I do? So you're really learning, right? You're on you've been on thin ice. You might be on thin ice now. Is more what I'm picking up. You know what I love about these readings that I'm doing now? Incorporating the runes. It's not so much my readings aren't so much all oh, your dreams are gonna come true and you know you're in love with a married man, but he's gonna dump her and fall for you and she's a bitch. It's not that. This has got a lot of elements of what is going on with you so and you know, when i pray over these both these runes and these cards i pray for spirit to tell me to give me the information that you need it's not always roses we learn more from being told our mistakes but we need to have hope too and spirit hasn't let us down yet okay so the season has changed and we're learning things we're learning things about ourselves. we're learning to deal like it's a lot coming from our subconscious where are we going Ooh, nice Okay, so we need to like beware of this hangman energy that's also Isa. Okay, 
Isa is actually pretty strong in this reading. You know what? Aries and Taurus got, got, yeah, got this too. Both a Nine of Cups and a Nine of Swords. But we're coming to, notice how much this looks like strength. We have had to be strong. We always know that even though we're laying on this pile of swords, roar, that we, Spirit has our back. We're aware of this. But there's, like what's coming up is that there's a King of Cups here waiting. This is a benevolent man. The King of Cups. Here he's an older man. The King of Cups is traditionally a, a very generous, kind of psychic man. Notice he's not wearing any boots. Like he's, a, he's humble. Like he's not wearing any shoes. And he's a king. I mean, he's wearing purple, which is the color of a king. But he has no crown. So he's a, I, I think this is a humble man that's come into your presence. Yeah, mature man who helps. Okay, so let's get some clarity on this mature man who helps. On the bottom of the deck, there's a knight of swords, but I didn't take it. Okay, let's get some clarity on the king of cups. Maybe your daddy. Whoop. Interesting. So to clarify the King of Cups, we get the Three of Swords in Judgment. get some more on that spirit I think like I know where to go oh interesting they have me look on the bottom and there's this that looks grim the knave of pentacles and he went to look inside the knight's armor and found only bones <gasps> skeletons from your closet your skeletons doesn't mean that they're bad or he is bad okay this king of cups has known hard times too he has known suffering And spirit and is and carries with him also memories that he would prefer to forget. He may be a little bit PTSD. He may like something uh, hmm. But he's looking at you. Three of Cups is often like a friendship card, but not here. Answered, a spirit just said answered prayers. Two of swords. Like, he's looking at you in your worry. This is to me like two sides of yourself, which makes sense for Gemini. 
right? The little devil and the little angel. Um, but, um, but you're able to make this on your own. Like you're doing well. You're doing really well. And, you know, other women, oh, other women are envious of you. Interesting. I mean, it's easy to be env envious when you don't know what that person has gone through. But this King of Cups is looking at this. You're a complicated woman. <laughs> or a complicated feminine. And this is a very complicated reading, I have to say. Okay. Uh, what is the relationship between this King of Cups and our Geminis here? Spirit. What is the relationship between this King of Cups and our Gemini? Spirit just said he can understand your situation. He can he under he gets you. Woo! Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. He gets you. He knows what it is like to go forward and have to believe that. The two cups that are presented, being presented to him have much more for him to focus on than what has spilled out. He has manifested. You both know what it's like to manifest under the moon. This is powerful feminine energy. Rebirth that we have here in, 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 sorry, in was in Bergano. And with the wheel. People plant their crops by the moon, by phases of the moon. I know this because I'm a gardener, hence, you know, wallflower garden, Carol. And timing is everything. He's waiting for the right time for you. This is... The Eight of Cups. But in this deck, this Eight of Cups um, woman is perfect. <laughs> she is, I just want to get the description here. Eight of Cups. This is talking about um, fertility, as is Bergano, as is Ingva's fertility. Empress kind of energy, spring, regrowth. This is like a little angel sent, you know, telling her everything is going to grow. Just like the growth and the spring energy and the rebirth of this is just incredible to me. Okay, what is the... So I think that this is a romantic... Uh, this is a, a king that has feelings for you. Yeah, Knight of Swords. He's waiting. He's coming in. Da, 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 da. He has friends who've been kind of encouraging him. He's coming in. There's a sun on the bottom. Outcome for the King of Cups in our Gemini. Now remember, these readings are... Mm, um, Energies of masculine and feminine, but they're not body parts. Like, take it how it resonates. Whoa. Okay, what's this? <gasps> the emperor. Who is he? To our Geminis here. Who is he? He's the big boss. He has been a king. He knows. He's everything to this person. He knows what it's like to have loved and lost. That's what Spirit just said. It just came out. It didn't even go through my brain until after I said it. He knows what it is to have loved and lost and to love again. He's patient and he'll wait for you. He's fruitful. He is... Oh, my shoulder just snapped. 
he is stability. He is stability. Spirit just said he will love your kids. He is something, though, that you have never known before from men. Usually men have been a kind of a giant pain in the ass or unstable or, uh, you know, you, he's just like another child for me to look after. He's scary. Nothing I do is ever right. The voices are just coming in my head. Like, nothing I do is ever right. He's unpredictable. He's... <sighs> See, that was half the deck went. He's unpredictable. And so you have gone on to bring men, masculines, into your life like what you knew. So then you see this king of cups, but he's like a sensitive guy. And you're like, what the fuck is this? And you feel attracted to him. But then you're like, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh my God. What am I doing? What am I doing? And all of a sudden, all you can see in this person is weakness weakness and and it's like oh my god he's so different than me what am i doing and then you think is my subconscious going to fuck this up for me just because i'm used to the bad boy which is like me like just because the bad boy is what i always went with is going the other way a bad thing no no it's not Okay. Final words. I never ask for a future. I don't consider myself. I consider myself a guide and not a fortune teller. As are all tarot readers, frankly. Yeah. There's, there might be some come and go on this. There might, from both of you, because you've both been hurt. So there's both, you know, sometimes this energy of looking back at the past. But you just got to heal from that and quit. That's where Mercury retrograde is going to help. When those things come up from the past or memories, like just random garbage shit comes up. Don't run from it and don't hide from it. Take a look at it, even if you're like doing something else. It usually comes up when you're like folding laundry or something. And just like, yeah, oh, okay, I acknowledge that. I'm a different person now. I release that and just kind of watch it float away and dissolve into nothing. Because if you can do that, if both of you guys can do that, I mean, Emperor, he could be an Aries. Both of you can do that. It's a Two of Cups, and this is... He loves you more. You love him too, but you're just a little bit guarded. A little bit like, oh God, I don't know. But don't stop. I mean, this is a little erotic. Too. Like, he's wanting to go in there. And you're like, no. Like, stop. What are you doing? Why did you stop? Kind of energy. So, Gemini. Like, sometimes I think, what am I going to call these? That's like the biggest hurdle happy mercury retrograde um seasons have changed it's going to be spring soon isa oh right for us we're in, i'm in saskatchewan canada everything's fucking nice and snow right now and but you know what when i'm done this i'm going to go downstairs and i'm going to plant seeds in my little greenhouse that, uh, because of my dream of my garden. Okay? And this is what we need to do. This is what you need to do in your life. Okay? I need to go out and I need to dump out the old earth from last year. You know, go through it. See what's good. Remove what isn't. Right? I mean, the analogies are endless. Um, but I'll, I will have rebirth and I'll have a new garden. I'll have a new life. And... You look like you've got an emperor here. So God bless. Be brave. See you on the next.